it is story of a thor in our time the story of the legend of the kratos it started long time ago when kingdom lives in peace and harmony in tamarage is a peaceful trade and is is among the kingdoms soon they discover the secret about the mystery of the ancient source of power exodus Legend has it that whichever kingdom that lays hands on the Kratos possess unmeasurable power to subdue and control all the kingdoms to their bidding. Kingdoms of the east, kingdoms of the west, the south and of the north, fought hard and bloody. Forests, mountains and the fields flows with blood of the mighty warriors who had dedicated their sword, skills and lives in the battle to gain possession of the power of the Kratos. Hundreds and thousands of lives lost, properties destroyed, kingdoms burned down to ashes. The entire kingdom come together and resolve to end the war and put an end to the evil, the calamities the Kratos brought upon their kingdoms. All the kingdoms took up never to make an attempt to wield the power of the Kratos again. Peace was finally restored among the kingdoms, but only for a short time. Stand up, my son. Your fame has cut across nations, regions. People hear your name and panic. Yes, father. No, my son. There's something we need to discuss. Father, what's the matter? I spoke with Priest Ordinary last night, who summoned the spirit of the ancient gods. Priest Ordinary? The sorcerer? Yes. And what did he say? He confirmed about the location and the secret about the mystery of the ancient source of power, Exosia Kratos. Father, I'm ready for this task. Yes, I know, son. And that's why we need to act now and act fast. Else, we'll end up slaves to whichever kingdom that lays hands on the Exosia Kratos. Yes, father. Priest Ordinary confirms for the first time in 200 years. The Red Moon of the Secret Order will appear in eight days from now. We can't afford to miss this one kind of opportunity. Father, let me go at once and get hold of the exosia. Yes, son. You set first in tomorrow morning. Yes, father.
This is the farthest we can go, sir. Yes, Father. The kingdom needs you. Make me proud. Make your kingdom proud. Exosia Kratos must come to the door. Yes, Father. I will not disappoint you. As long as I live, Didon must wield the powers of Exosia. If you take the Eastern Valley, through the Molian Mountain and the marshes of Dagon, you can get to the Mystery Cave in five days. Even though it's characterized by the shadows of death, and you will face numerous enemies who are out there to lay hands on the Exosia Kratos. But Exosia Kratos must come to the door. Yes, Father. The so-called warrior of Dijon. General Vuga! Aren't you forgetting something? I am your prince. You are to treat me with respect. Prince? Prince, you said. You are not my prince. In fact, here, I made the rules. Ever since your father, King Zach, banished me from the kingdom of Dijon and made me an outlaw, I have taken an oath that as long as I, General Vuga, the son of Carlos lives. His family shall see no peace until his entire family are wiped out from the face of the earth. General Vuga, as you can see, I'm on a quest. I don't have your time. Well, I have your time. Warriors, finish him. <laughs> I thought you would prefer a quick death. Lugard, make him die slowly. With pleasure, General. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> 
Exosia Kratos. So the legend is true. Prince Leo. Prince Agamon. What are you doing here? I should be the one asking the question. What are you doing here? All our kingdom have vowed not to feel the power of the Exosia Kratos, but to be left in mystery cave under the protection of Lord Trogon. For here you are. You, the kingdom of all traitors, our ancestors shouldn't have trusted you. Speaking of treachery, let me guess, Prince Agamon. You are here at this point in time, at exactly the day of the appearance of the Red Moon of the Secret Order. Just to look at the Kratos and go your way, huh? Well, let's save the details. Why don't you go back to your father, King Zax, and tell him that you have arrived late. You see, I've been here three days back, waiting for the Red Moon of the Secret Order to neutralize the power covering the Exosia Kratos. Exosia Kratos? is going to Emanon. Well, it will interest you to know that I've taken an oath never to return to Didon without the Kratos. Well, I guess there's only one way to settle this. Yes, of course. You see, ever since our last fight at Mount Molia, I have waited for a rematch. And he, you... Ah! <clears throat> well, we're gonna enjoy this. Let's see about this. <clears throat> I won't do that if I were you. Wise choice. And who are you? The protector of the Kratos. As long as I live, the Kratos stays in the cave. Whoever the wants the Kratos, I have to go through it first. Fine. But I must warn you. Humans, immortal, many tried and failed. But you haven't tried me. <laughs> <laughs>
guys seem serious. Let's do this. No! What just happened? What? The graduate? Where did it go? Rigo. Rigo. This must be the handwork of Rigo. What's Rigo? Not what? Who? And who is Rigo? The fastest man on earth. Some even say he's not a man. But a ghost. Only a few people who have ever seen him live to tell the tale. And where are you going? For the past 250 years, I've spent my life protecting the crutches. I'm going after you. Yes, young man. Enrico, this exosia gratis problem so fed up. 